Hello everyone, I'm Sim Valera, and we are back to the city of Panito Coast. Uh, last time we did a lot of work in this, in this um, kind of like European district, and yes, in this part of the town. And so, in this twentieth episode, you know, we're just gonna continue this work. And um, this episode is called Urban Extension, or something like that. Like, yes, <laughs> expand. I don't know. And so. Yeah, here we start off with just, you know, flooding some ground around in this area, like, you see we got like a highway avenue going on here, and it will separate our newly made uh, district, kind of like district, uh, with already existing, um, yeah, <laughs> European one. And so... Uh, uh, yeah, we had a connection with avenues before, but I felt like because we have this situation with, uh, you know, one-way roads, I thought that, you know, it is a good idea to create a roundabout, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to break the grid, and I really didn't want to, you know... I didn't, I, because we have so many of roundabouts, so instead we will have just this um, rectangular, squarish, um, around the world. so still, if, I mean, I've used it, I've used this technique several times, and yeah, it's kind of like squarish roundabout, and yeah, so we're using one-way roads uh, instead of uh, avenues as we did before, and so um, just to start off this <laughs> new uh, district with uh, uh, with something, uh, we use uh, one-way roads, and we will create like another squarish roundabout just just because sometimes i worry about traffic too much and that's what happened there and i mean i guess it's it's never bad for you to care about traffic too much but well 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 uh, i was trying to you know line up all the roads and so that's why at first i had to you know draw a road from that part of the town like i had to use a bridge even and so this way they will have uh, the same angle our roads and yeah we still got yeah still got <laughs> got some weird angles on the connection but on yeah uh, for the most part it will be the same as the other european part there yeah so you see they will all they will be all like lined up so that's what we want here and uh, yeah but still i wanted not not just to create another European district, but it will be another one. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit different, and that's why I zoned it like you know, uh, I zoned another. Um, what's it called? Like, yeah, yeah, another district. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm doing. And you can take a, a like a, like an overlook at our city of Benito Coast if you forgot. We got several districts and. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. So, in this part, we will still have a European district, but at first, I, you know, in the theme manager, theme, I uh, set it up to be only Berlin-inspired buildings. Uh, you know, I got a, I got a mod, uh, like um, yeah, a district style, that's how it's called, I guess, that has, uh, like, this Berlin-inspired buildings, literally. And so at first we can have them, but yeah, and then we'll have some uh, regular European buildings. And you see, it's, uh, here we got another like bigger uh, squarish roundabout, <laughs> again using one-way roads. And uh, in yeah, inside of it, I will create like yeah, it's like a central park, like a nice park inside. And it was inspired by the uh, by the park that we were creating in uh, in other series that are called Let's Build Central Park. Uh, if you haven't watched it, you can check the link in the description or just, you know, um, take a look at the <laughs> in my other videos. So, uh, in, that, in that Central Park, this huge park, we also had like a couple of uh, ponds. And, you know, I thought that it is a nice idea to create another one here, because why not? Because why not? And we will also have this Pierre, Pierre thing uh, going on. 
and yeah so we got a bond uh, later of camera I will um, uh, you know set the water level a bit higher but I mean it's not a problem here but I felt like we need it a bit higher so off camera later you won't see it but I will set up the water level higher and now we draw some pedestrian paths and I will also you see the idea was uh, we had we have this pond and then the, uh, Pierre Pierre thing and uh, uh, like I want it in front of it, in front of this whole scenery, like with pond and the pier, mm, like a restaurant or something like, like some fancy commercial, <laughs> like I don't know, like a cinema or a hotel or something. So you see, uh, over here in this corner we'll have some tables with umbrellas and you know, like a nice sitting area. And now we put another pier, like because why not? Let's just continue this uh, beautifulness. And yeah, you see, we got this sitting area in the corner. I believe it's just it's just a little nice touch, yeah. And and yeah, as I was building, I was taking a look at different uh, props and parks that we have. Uh, as you could see, yeah, we we will use that pier that I didn't use here somewhere later, maybe like on the coast or somewhere, but not here. Yeah, not here. And what else? What else? Um, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. You see, uh, we will have a nice plaza park thing with a statue and with uh, tables and umbrellas here. So, yeah, it just it just works together nicely, and yeah, it everything bl just blends in. And just to break the grid a little bit, the grid. Um, I thought, why not to put like. Um, <laughs> some you know, um, just uh, some some other roads that are not perfectly uh, lined up and yeah, like this. Um, you see, like forty five degrees and yeah. So that's what I'm using. Um, uh, yeah, I have these props, box things that already have these uh, <laughs> roads and yeah. Yeah, you can get everything on the Steam Workshop. I mean, so much stuff there, and even now, like every day, you can go to the workshop and get so much stuff. Like, like honestly, the community is just the best. So, so like so much stuff, and yeah, we just draw some more roads, and then later we will zone some. Uh, at first, Berlin-inspired buildings, and then later some uh, regular European inspired <laughs> European buildings and oh my god I totally forgot to tell you that in this district we will also have uh, Brooklyn looking buildings yep just like if you haven't watched my latest video go go watch it link to that also in the description um, uh, Brooklyn uh, like Brooklyn looking Brooklyn Brooklyn inspired uh, buildings like you know these townhouses that are made of uh, like brown brick brown stone yeah and the, because you see um, the idea was that um, this area on the right like but now on the left <laughs> uh, the the district that we already have this European district that that one is kind of like more expensive and like more like fancy and etc and this one is a little bit cheaper <laughs> i mean not really at the end of the day yeah it look it, it's gonna look great <laughs> but the idea was that it is it's gonna be a little bit more like for for a little bit for like lower classes a little bit and so as we go further from already existing European district like where we have like canals and uh, like this department store and like the parliament thing something like the further we go the you know <laughs> the poorer the people and so yeah uh, I, I, I forgot to you see to set up theme for this so here we have Berlin inspired you see on the right it says Berlin inspired and on and this one it's gonna be Brooklyn, you see? Yep, I checked. And so there we'll have these little townhouses. And so you, that's just how it's gonna work. The further we go, 
the cheaper the housing, <laughs> like, yeah, the poorer the people. Um, but they all gonna look great, and uh, this European building, they are kind of like townhouses as well, right? I mean, they're kind of like taller, but still, 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 still. <laughs> I believe they they worked like townhouses as well, but I don't know. And so yeah, we will have these uh, Brooklyn buildings later. Yeah, but at first I zoned some uh, high density residential and high density commercial, and thank God we have lots of demand for that, and no demand for uh, industry whatsoever. I zoned a little bit of offices, but they're not gonna grow. Yep. Uh, you see, I use office zoning uh, to kind of like uh, separate the uh, the, com the, the, com the commercial area with the residential uh, because commercial area creates this noise pollution that you know people don't like for some reason <laughs> and yeah that's why it's kind of like a bummer uh, and yeah it just separates the areas and you see at first we had only these berlin inspired buildings which is so great i mean i just love them they look fantastic and they get i mean yeah they look incredible um, but i felt like this whole thing it was a little bit like repetitive <laughs> and yeah we have all these buildings that look so much similar and yeah, so that's why I will later, uh, you know, check the box in the uh, theme manager panel, and we will also have other styled European buildings. But here, you see, I already zoned some low density, and that's what you what you need to zone if you want to have uh, these uh, Brooklyn looking buildings. And uh, yeah, again, um, you can check in the description the links for these mods like the Berlin. Uh, buildings and the Brooklyn buildings Yeah, and here we have like a nice uh, parking lot that I got not that long time ago And yeah, around it we're gonna have some of these European buildings and you see on the left and like furthermore We will have these Brooklyn buildings Yeah, awesome Awesome, awesome, and I also draw like these uh, pedestrian paths following up to the yeah, leading up to the uh, this uh, parking lot, just just to just to connect everything, just like a little nice touch. And I also got a couple of uh, pedestrian paths in the uh, Brooklyn area. Again, just just for the variety. I mean, you don't have to uh, put you see, draw this grid with the, like uh, with the, the perfect amount of squares to fill with the buildings and just just zone and that's it. No, you, you can you can always play around, put some paths here and there, some trees over here and there. Yeah, even though it's not like it's the most creative and <laughs> the most like uh, artistically groundbreaking way of <laughs> um, creating like parks and like yeah all this area. It's it, th these are still nice touches that you can that also always always good for you. And yeah, and there I just zone some some commercial next to the piers, these piers. And I felt like this whole time, I felt like we are missing like this big pompous building. That I don't know, it's not really necessary, but I feel like we need to have this big building, like. Like I don't know, I just I just had this feeling, but over here we have this building. Um, not not that's not what I was talking about, but we have a supermarket. Um, yeah, this mall supermarket thing that is called uh, Tesco. I believe it's a British company, bloody British uh, Tesco. Yeah, and I, when I've been to Brit Britain, yeah, I've used it several times. I mean, it is a good supermarket, so I felt like why not to put it in this. Uh, you see, it, it is kind of like in the middle between, it is between the Brooklyn area and the European area. But still, I was trying my best to uh, unite this uh, uh, Brooklyn and European looking buildings. And I felt, I feel like I did a good job. I mean, it is always up for you to judge. Um, yeah, just like with uh, SimCity versus City Skylines video, I mean, 
yeah, <laughs> you were judging hard, but but I much agree with all with everything that you said. I'm not gonna, yeah. Anyway, don't want to bring everything up here. Uh, so you see, we got this um, railroad situation here, and I wasn't sure, and I'm still not sure whether or not we actually need this. Uh, the train station here. I'm not sure that people are gonna use it here because we have this farming industry here and we have this uh, Not not much high density, but still still a residential area and uh, We we are kind of on the outskirts of the city And I'm still not sure that we need the train station, but we gonna have it here and because I'm not sure that people are, are gonna actually use train station in order to get to their uh, job, uh, to get to their work. Because, you see, we have this farming industry, and the only connection that we have with all the other parts of the city and this uh, farming district is this bridge thing, this bridge, this avenue. Uh, four lane avenue and that's it that, like like that that's the only connection no metro no buses like <laughs> no play no airplanes nothing like nothing no trains only this avenue so you can only get there by car which i felt like like <laughs> like a bad situation right but still i'm not sure that uh like the, the employers gonna use train station in order to get to their jobs in the farming district. I mean, if you know, feel, feel free to tell me. But, in, I mean, we will see. I'm not sure if you get if you can actually, you know, <laughs> see. But we will see if people will use it at least, this train station. And then, yeah. But at least, at least it is a nice look, right? It looks great here. We got this parking lot, we got this uh, a tree lines and some bushes and a pedestrian pass and parking lots again. And it is a nice look. So yeah, it's not a problem for us to have it here, but I mean, we, we want things not only to look nicely, but also to work good for our city. But yeah, but uh, yeah, the main goal is to look great. Yes, of course, but. I mean, let's design this series, I called. But anyway, let's just zone some more. You see, the demand for uh, residential commercial, it just, it just doesn't stop. It just, it just doesn't go down. So let's just zone more, both high density and low density. Low density for Brooklyn, high density for European uh, looking buildings. And uh, this whole episode, I was just... <laughs> um, uh, was trying to do anything else but this park because uh, I couldn't, you know, you see, I, the, I just couldn't get the ideas for this park. I just didn't have them. So, but uh, we got these paths. I mean, not in the bo not, not not in the most boring way. I put them not like straight lines, but we also got this, yeah, <laughs> like in some other angles. And at this part of the building, I felt like, oh my god, I forgot to put some, um, you see, some city services. Some, like, so we put a, a fire station now, yep. Have I put it? Yep, I feel, yes, I did. And, like, um, hospital, little clinic, actually. And right here, we will have our first ever and only um, uh, intersection road with uh, railroad. Never ever before I did this kind of intersection when a railroad and a regular road got, you know, intersected. And is that the word? Is that the word? Is that the word? verb? <laughs> intersect to intersect. And But you see, we get this little situation. <laughs> and yeah, because here we don't ha we are not gonna have that much traffic. I hope. Oh, well, I hope. Oh my God. Hopefully we won't. I mean, we shouldn't. But who knows? I mean, you can never be sure in these games. 
because but I feel like we're not gonna have that much traffic here, so whatever, whatever. And so um let's just put some some other trees here. And we we had this uh, tree line following the uh, railroad, but now it got kind of like offset because you know why? <laughs> because why, why do I even explain this? <laughs> because our railroad is not in, in the different place, so we just changed this tr uh, tree line, and yep, everything looks nice again. And talking about tree lines, some tree line, a tree line over here, and a bunch of trees here, <laughs> just everywhere. You see, at first I just built and zone and put some roads, and then uh, only later uh, trees we have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, I got this little building over here. Not little, actually, <laughs> kind of big. Uh, it's in the landmarks, and I mean, it just works great here. It has this style, Brooklyn style, and yet. It is bigger than all the other Brooklyn buildings, and it's just as big as this European buildings, and I mean, everything just blends in nicely, which is awesome, right? <laughs> and I feel like we finally got our big building here. Remember I told you that I felt like we need a big building here, and that's why we have this huge cathedral that... If you watched Let's Build Central Park series, you could also notice that. Yep, <laughs> I just I just repeat it here. Oh Jesus! But I don't think that it is a problem. If you do, I'm sorry, but I don't think it is a problem <laughs> because it is a different park, different story in a different city. And of course, we want to connect everything. That's why I put some more pavement in the corners and like. Yeah, but I felt like we don't want to have just buildings in front of the cathedral, and that's why I'm gonna, uh, you know, just remove this area and like remove these buildings, and look, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take our. Oh come on, come on. Okay, let's wait. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna take this one and just put it in another place. The whole episode it was just there, but now it's here. You see. Yeah, you can never be sure with me. And now we just, I felt like, why not to zone here a little bit more? And we got a nice pl plaza in the left. And then, and now in front of the cathedral, we have uh, this gorgeous plaza park. Not really plaza park thing with statues. I already, I believe I already used this uh, park in this city. Yep, I did. I definitely did. But again, I don't think that is a problem. <laughs> I mean, if if I'm gonna use only like all the things once, I'm never gonna load this city because it's kind of. Uh, I mean, we already have so much custom-made buildings here that it is just oh, it takes me. Usually, it takes me like uh, from from like five to from five to ten minutes to load up a city. And I don't know if it is a lot, a lot of time, but just so you know, <laughs> we put a bunch of trees here and there now, and we got the cypresses, and I mean, just just some regular stuff, <laughs> just some regular stuff, yeah, um, yeah. We have these uh, circleish trees, and you see, I have this. Oops, sorry, I have this uh, red. Uh, bushes. I'm not really sure why are they red and what is this even, but I have these red bushes and I feel like a nice touch, right? Looking really good. And again, some in some buildings, uh, some trees in the corners, and some you can you can put some bushes um, between the trees just so we don't see this. See, just to hide imperfections. That's what I'm trying to say. But that is it for this episode number 20. I hope you enjoyed. A lot of work has been done. Berlin slash Brooklyn building was built. So yeah, if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. So stay tuned and goodbye.